Hi, I'm Scott and welcome back to the Weekly Photo Tips video channel. Today we're going to be talking about a DIY project which is a light stand in a paint can. Uh, and to give credit where credit is due, I was watching a video uh, from Jim over at Pro Photo Life uh, and saw this idea there. And actually if you go there and look at their videos, in episode 4 they do an entire studio shoot setup using just these uh, paint can light stands say that three times really fast. Uh, let me tell you how I made mine. First, I went to a local paint can, a paint store, and paint can was $1.50 with the cover. The gallons, oh, I think, were $2.50. I used plaster of Paris on the inside. I used a round dowel that I had, and that was essentially it for ingredients. Now, how I did it was, the end of the uh, stick that went into the uh, can I pre-drilled the holes and put nails in them. And I put the nails in them for two reasons. One, so that it would help me stir, because I mixed it actually right in the paint can. And two, if you're like me, chances are you're not gonna come over to your can and pick it up like this. You're gonna pick it up like this. And if you do, I'm sure after a while, it's eventually gonna work its way loose just a little bit and it'll slide right out. So the nails were there to help give it some, some footing. And if you don't pre-drill, if you try to drive a nail close to the edge or through a small piece of wood, I promise you, you will split it. I know, because I do it all the time. Pre-drilling will just save you a lot of heartache and time. Um, so that was essentially it. You can get, I think, seven pounds of Plaster of Paris at Home Depot or Lowe's for around $7. I would suggest that you work quickly because I started, as I was stirring it, it started to become thick. And I walked about 10 feet away to get my level so I could make sure I had it correct. By the time I got back, it wasn't going anywhere. So luckily I had gotten it pretty straight. Um, the can came with the cover. So I just drilled the hole so that I can put it on and give it a much nicer finished look. But chances are, again, if you're like me, you're not gonna get the hole perfectly centered. So if you take a screwdriver, this is pretty thin metal. You can just kind of rub it around, give it a little bit of force. It will enlarge the hole the size that you need it. And like I said, it will give it a much nicer finished look. And you'd be surprised how heavy this is. And you can use it for holding up items, holding up a piece of paper for a backdrop. You can use smaller clamps on there. And then I think that's about it. I've covered it all. So easy to make. You can use a used paint can so you can cut down on that cost as well. And I think that's about it on the DIY paint can and a light stand. Thanks for coming to the Weekly Photo Tips video channel. We'll see you again next time.